Yes. Hey. Hey. Looks like, looks I like think we're I on. See something there. My goodness. You're getting better at this every week, Joel. Each and every week. Yes. I have it on and, my monitor. And I have sound, too. It's so delightful. Good. Nice. Wow, we're ready to go. We, how yeah. about your big monitor? Is that yeah, you know what? I didn't even get on to that one today. Yeah, that's it, okay. didn't, it didn't work so well last time, so I have it right here on my phone. Hey, Joel, guess what time it is? Keith? <laughs> I got to turn this down all the way down. There we go. What time? It is time once again. Wait, for, wait, wait. Oh, oh, let me get I, to I, my, I interrupted. Come on. Yeah, man, let me finish. <laughs> Keith, what time could it be? <laughs> right, I forgot what the question was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is time once again for Smack and Jack Live here, lovely Chester County, Southern Chester County, Yay. at Somerset Studios. And uh, we got a great for you, show for you today. We got uh, a bunch of stuff going on. So just grab your cup of coffee. Uh, should we run over stuff, or we'll do it when we get back? Uh, I forget. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's grab our cup of coffee. I think we need it. So grab your cup of coffee, sit back, and we 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 will be right back. <laughs> From the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smackin' Jack Live with your co-hosts, Keith and Joel Wenderman. Yeah, sometimes we have to do our own uh, singing. Yes. <laughs> the, uh, the recorded part is a little hiccupy. Yeah, apparently, every everybody and everything's a little rusty today. Yeah, it feels like I, it's been... We were on last week, correct? We were, we were not on last week. Oh, that's why. Okay. Right. It was Thanksgiving. Hey, Thanksgiving, how was everybody's Thanksgiving? Off, yeah. Let us on, know this way, how uh, we your Thanksgiving was. And uh, I had a great Thanksgiving. Joel, did you have a great Thanksgiving? Certainly did. With the kids Certainly and everything. Yeah, okay, good. Thanksgiving. Yeah, let us know uh, how yours was. And, yes. uh, and uh, as you're tuning in today, let us know where you're tuning in from. From, That's yes. one thing I'd like to kind of like a bit more consistent. Yeah, that's nice. Like uh, when you're watching, tell us where you're coming from. Coming from. Okay, Barbara's on. Uh, Brad's on. Good morning to see you guys both. Uh, yeah, we do have to bring up something. Uh, overnight, our 41st president, George... Herbert Walker Bush passed away quietly in his home in Texas. Yeah. Uh, wherever your uh, political affiliations lie, you always gotta, you know, stop and. and uh, George W. was quite a, a lifelong politician, and he was the last yeah. living World War II vet. He was in uh, shot down over. Uh, really? Uh, I don't know where he was, but he was fighting it against the Japanese. He was shot down. He was a, a airplane uh, pilot. That and I did he, not uh, know. Yes, yes, and uh, then he was in the uh, he was in the Nixon administration. He did a whole lot of stuff that I didn't know about until right. just you know yeah. you think you know presidents just appear, but uh, he was right. Long, He's been around for a long time. And for, his uh, wife Barbara time. preceded him back in April, so uh, yeah, every, you know, right. Our, so it's somber moment for American history. So anyway, what do we have? Uh, what are we going to do today, Joel? We have the uh, we have changed. There are no longer announcements. Yes, we call We're, it the. The Smack That's, and Jack prologue. Right. What is a prologue? <laughs> well, a prologue is actually uh, something I looked up here so I could have an actual definition. Uh, let's see. A prologue is a separate introductory section of a literary or musical work. Or an event or action that leads to another event or situation. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's definitely us. That's us. Good or bad, it's going to really lead to, lead to some kind yeah, of That's right. So that is... Situation. Um, that is uh, what we are doing now. We no longer have announcements. We have a prologue okay. to the rest of our show. Uh, within this prologue, what exactly? Uh... We have announcements. <laughs> oh, where's our clap track, dude? We don't have oh, it. Oh, no, it's down here. Woo. All right. Our, yeah, okay. And so, nice to see Brad is tuning in from his yeah. couch. That's exactly what we wanted to know. Nice. We, exactly. don't, we don't want to know that you're in Lydis. We want to know exactly where you <laughs> are. Right. From your couch. Let's, got, let's not get too more detail. Even our audiences are, are comedians nowadays. <laughs> All, All right. right. Very good. So <laughs> clapping. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, there's our clapping. Okay. So um, why don't you go through our, okay, uh, uh, our agenda, and then we'll get back to the prologue. 
I don't, I don't know what uh, December first. Hey, it's December first. Well, 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 we're gonna do our prologue, and then we're gonna talk about our website, folks. <laughs> <laughs> we do our jokes of the day and then trivia. A trivia, will be yes, today. yes, yes. We will do trivia. Everybody likes a trivia. That's good. Uh, oh, facts, yeah, yeah. and we got some facts, and then we got the trivia answers. That's right. And then we're going to finish up with the ever popular birthday minute. So stick around for that. And uh, yeah, so getting back I'm, I'm to this. I'm pretty certain we normally do this before the. <laughs> yeah, I think so. But anyway, you know. All right, okay. Things so a little different. Let's get but back to our But it is the first of December, right? Yeah. Yes, happy for. Uh, so that means there's December only 24 first. days left till Christmas. Yeah, 24 shopping days left so till Christmas, So I've folks. got about 23 days left to procrastinate. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, so we got, we've already talked about um, our former president, uh, George Bush, George H. H. W. w. Yes. Bush. Um, okay. So today is December 1st. Today, I just want to uh, bring to your attention, if you're in the southeastern region of Pennsylvania again, uh, there's two events going on. One, one is at uh, my church tonight is a... A, a visiting choir concert tonight at my church, nice. Christ Church and Media. And the other one is a little bit earlier in Swarthmore, um, a performance uh, by husband and wife, Aaron and Steve Cochran. And they are actually members of our church too, if I can get to that. Oops, let's, let's get back to here. <clears throat> so if you're in the area in or near Swarthmore around uh, lunchtime, um, stop on in and screen share. And uh, Warehouse 3, I've never been there. Mm. Warehouse 3, Steve and Aaron Cochran and Randy Williamson. Uh, Randy plays uh, Dulcimer. Oh, okay. And we'll nice. present a concert of holiday music and Celtic and American folk tunes. So, wow, that um, sounds really 100 nice. Park a Avenue in Swarthmore. So if you're okay. around, go grab some lunch, do a little shopping, stop down yeah. there. Uh, let's see, it starts at 1. I, I'm assuming they'll be there for probably about two hours. Okay. Stop in. And then here's our concert tonight at Christ Church. Uh, Sign nomine. They're a uh, actually this the gentleman who uh, who sings in this group. The, there's a the gentleman and a lady that kind of uh, well sing in the group, but they are also our organ maintenance company. Oh, okay. So uh, they take care of our organ, and they've been rehearsing at our church because their members are from all around, and media is a central location for okay. them. Okay. So they asked if they could do a performance at our church, and yeah, sure, well, we're open great. to have anybody yes. perform at our church yeah. who uh, who likes cool. to come and uh, sing and perform. So. Yeah, so if you're a media today, um, take a look yeah, a at that. Again. Do. Come join us. Christmas wise. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show everybody is that um, our good friend, uh, Buddy. <laughs> oh, no. Buddy no, is no, back no. starting today. Oh, yes. wow. Yes. So, um, and, and I think at this point, Buddy is making an honorary appearance. Okay. We've we've kind of got into that point where Buddy is appearing on an honorary. Basis. Okay. <laughs> what does that time. mean? Uh, that that means that uh, <laughs> is he here somewhere, uh, <laughs> or is he just on screen? He's he's on no, screen. Okay. He's, uh, on, okay. You know, on our man. Oh. Okay. Right. Okay. So um, I'll, I'll tell you what that means later. All right. Okay. Yeah, I still um, don't get the whole. Well, buddy thing. well, well, Buddy where, comes um, come from? <clears throat> comes every day and appears in a different spot in the house. Right. He goes back to the North Pole and just kind of checks in with Santa. Right. Um, well, where did that tradition come? Because uh, I don't book? remember a past no. last no. year. Oh, well, it's been it's been around for a while. Linda sent us the Elf on the Shelf. Uh, oh. oh, gosh, this has been about eight years, maybe? Okay. Seven, eight years okay. ago? Maybe, maybe not quite that long. But, okay. um, yeah, it's kind of a newer... Yes. A newer phenomenon, okay. you'll, you, uh, as we can see. So, okay, moving on. What we got after that? Um, <laughs> all right, so that's pretty much our prologue. Let's get into what I've done with the Smack and Jack website, okay. and then we'll get into our jokes. Okay, okay? sure. Yeah, so, let's do that. The one thing I wanted to show everybody about the, um, the website is that um, I added a privacy page. Um, every website that you go to has a privacy page. Um, and that lets everybody know who uses the website, what uh, information you take, if it's an email address, phone numbers, names, and so forth like that. They put in there um, that you're going to be sending emails to them. A lot of activity out on the yes. bike today. <laughs> so, uh, so when you put your email address in, you are agreeing to their privacy statement that you might be getting correspondence from them and so forth. Okay. 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 And whatever... Um, Whatever website you go to, let me see if I can find the one that I want here. Uh, okay, so this is where we've gotten some of our information today. This is uh, 
of good housekeeping. And if you look right down at the bottom, there is a privacy. Where is it? I saw it earlier. Uh, oh yeah, way down here, privacy okay, yep, notice. Okay. You click on privacy notice and it brings you to their privacy page. And you go through this and you can read everything that they're gonna do with your information that you've put in. Okay, and it goes on and on and on. Kind of just a legal thing to exactly. keep us safe, keep them you know, Yeah. The, well, guess what? Site. Guess what? If you go to smackandjack.com now, and you, mm. well, there it is. That's ours. Yeah. And I put it at the bottom so it's its own page, privacy policy, okay. right there. Yep. So, and if you read here, it says um, smackandjack.com operates the AT, da, 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 uh, smackandjack.com website. Okay. And any information that you put in, we could uh, be using that to send you information and so forth. Okay. So the only thing we're asking for is uh, your email address and your first name. Okay. When, whenever we ask for information, that's what. Put, but all this is our privacy page. So we are basically we are living up to what we need to as far as um, compliance. Good. Okay. On on the internet. Okay. So we're funny and legal all yes. at the same time. Yeah. Great. So I learned Love all that uh, through of and, and of course there's a contact page there if you have any questions about our pro, pro, uh, policy our privacy policy. Yep. I learned all that through um, East Stage Academy, 4% okay. group. Uh, Nigel H. took this whole, you know, this is like, uh, I don't know, 45 or half hour training on how to set up your privacy page. Okay. Okay. Now, how do I set up the privacy page? Because you look at all that and you think, oh my goodness, do I got to type all that up? Yeah. Well, thank goodness there is a, a free custom privacy policy uh, building page. Okay. Okay. So you can buy, uh, buy and upgrade uh, more detailed privacy pages, but if you just go for the basic to start out with, um, we're in good shape. So you click click start here, put in the name of the webs, or you put in that your website. Next step. Um, I'm an individual. We just did business. Where do you work from? I work from home. Um, let's type that in. At home. Oh, I'm sorry. No, United States. <laughs> United. Yeah, I got that right on ours. Okay, and then uh, next step, uh, any of your state, sorry. PA. Yeah, you right think there. Pennsylvania would come right up. Oh, and it does, yeah. Normally it comes up um, Puerto Rico. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, what? Oh, about the same size, right? Exactly, Pennsylvania right. Pennsylvania and Puerto yeah. Rico. So then you put all this stuff in, and then you press, uh, you eventually get to the generate privacy. Okay. Okay, then you just copy and paste all that code to the page that you want it to be on, like I did here. I just copied the code in and it comes up looking like this. Okay, okay so I'm not gonna bore everybody with that, but um, there are many privacy page generators out there. The one that I showed you is probably the easiest to use. Okay. And it has the most information on it and it's for free. Okay. You know, so you don't have to worry about typing all that stuff because yeah. I knew I had to have one on the page, but I thought, how in the world do I get all that information? Yeah. I thought, am I going to just copy Take and paste it. and then edit and put in my own stuff? <laughs> but uh, so you go to the privacy page uh, generator okay. and you're in good shape. Sounds good. Yay. All right. So that's well, what that's we do with more. Smack and Jack over the uh, last week, last week and a half. One more step of the uh, puzzle being put yeah. into place. Yeah. Good. yeah no, I, I edited some pages. I did a few other things too. Uh, I mean, I added some pictures on our pages um, just to make them look a little bit better. Okay. Um, but, you know, everything takes a little bit of time because I have to learn how to do it first and then I have and to take it, time yes. to do it and then do it again and then do it again. Right. <laughs> you right. know. So, okay. Very good. Very good. Moving along. Yeah, okay. Right along. Yeah. All right. All right. Hey, what do we got coming up? Oh, we got, and I got to mention something about our jokes too. When I was over the holiday weekend, I was yep. down at, at Lyndon Brad's, and um, I can't remember if it was Lyndon. No, it was Brad. He said, uh, "Where did those jokes come from last week?" So because um, they were so good, right? Yes, they so they were so good. So uh, here you go, Brad. We are going back to the Jokopedia. Back to the Jokopedia yes. today. Apparently, our jokes. Two weeks ago, weren't from the Jokopedia. Weren't off the snuff? And they were, yeah, apparently they weren't off the snuff. Was, was you know? somebody uh, greatly offended? Uh, well, you know, I think even when things aren't funny, in that they become funny. Yeah, right, so, exactly. So if they're not funny today, Brad, uh, it's on you, okay? So what do we got here, Joel? Let's <laughs> do right. it. So there was uh, one that I posted. Uh, yes, right. Uh, right? And that was, how do you keep a nerd in suspense? How? 
Not yet. <laughs> that wasn't the joke. Oh, but, oh, oh, okay. Uh, but I just wanted to review what our... Oh, that... <laughs> Now, let's go back to the first joke, and then that will be the last joke. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why it's so tough this morning. I had plenty of, plenty of sleep and plenty of coffee so far. Oh, man, it's tough. Oh, it is Lord. tough sometimes. Maybe it's because okay. it's sunny out. Normally, it's raining. Normally, and... it's raining, and it's going to rain later today in yeah. celebration of yeah. it being a Saturday. Right. So, okay. How did, how did the computers buy a new car? How? They all chipped in. <laughs> I get it. Uh, chip, chip, chip. What do you get when you cross a bunny rabbit with the World Wide Web? Who? What? A hairnet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not bad. Not how bad do you at all. compare the two? Or I'm sorry. How do you compare the speeds of two computers? How? Push them off the top of a building at the same time and see which one hits the ground first. <laughs> right. Very good. Very good. All right, a couple more, folks, till we get to the, the gleaming joke of the day. Why did the computer get glasses? Why? To improve its website. <laughs> get it, get it, website. Why did the woman attach her, her computer to a fishing rod? Let me say that again. Why did the woman attach her computer to a fishing rod? Why? Someone told her to hook it up. <laughs> no, oh. I'm not laughing. Alright, now look after work. They look I... much better this already we're doing are, are much they better much with better? Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. Good to make you happy there, Brad. <laughs> Two weeks ago must have been really bad. Yeah, I, I don't remember them being that bad. But... Okay. Alright, last one. Here we okay. go. Okay. How do you keep a nerd in suspense? How? I'll tell you later. So the answer to begin with was the right one. <laughs> Pretty close. Uh, wah, wah, wah. All right, let's okay, move on. Very folks. good. Let's, let's move move on. Was good. Let's go from pathetic to something different. <laughs> okay, a little bit of trivia. What kind of trivia? Yeah, are we where's doing my this trivia week? here? Let's get <laughs> back to. Uh, uh, oh boy! All right, trivia, 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 and then we'll go to our facts of the day and then come back to trivia. So, okay, uh, the name of the popular online battle royal game PUBG is short for what? I have no idea either. And if you do have an idea, yeah. idea, what are the official winter and summer sports of Canada? Hmm, I have no idea. Hmm. What is the largest country located entirely in Europe? Hmm. What famous Christmas legend did a Mon uh, Montgomery Ward advertising man create as part of his job? Hmm. That sounds vaguely familiar. Jim but. Davis was the cartoonist behind which widely syndicated comic strip? Who appeared on the cover of the first issue of People magazine on March 4th, 1974? American Gothic, a 1930 portrait depicting a farmer and his daughter posing in front of their house, was painted by which artist? <sighs> What inland U.S. state has the longest shoreline? Oh, I might know that one. Who sang the title song Grease in the 1978 musical Motion Picture? I know that one too. In 1863, which U.S. president declared that the last Thursday in November should be celebrated as Thanksgiving? I think we should know that yes, one. Yes, we should because we talked about that yeah. a couple weeks ago. What heavy metal element was once known as Quicksilver? Oh, I know that one too. Okay, so let's go back to the top real quick. The name of the popular online battle royal game, PUBG, is short for what? Uh, to uh, the winter and summer sports of Canada. Largest country located entirely in Europe. What famous Christmas legend did Montgomery Ward advertising man create as part of his job? Jim Davis was a cartoonist behind what widely syndicated comic strip? Uh, who was on the cover of the first People magazine in 1974? American Gothic, 1930 um, <clears throat> portrait depicting a farmer and his daughter posing in front of the house, was painted on uh, by which artist? What inland state has the most shoreline? Who sang Greece in 1978? Uh, U.S. President declared Thanksgiving as a holiday. And what heavy metal element was once known as Quicksilver? All right, okay. folks, moving on to... 
I already see an answer. I have no idea what that answer goes to. It's just kind of funny. Anyway. Uh, okay. All uh, right. Here we go. Facts of the day. Okay. Where is Linda? Is Linda on today? No. Brad, you're going to have to let Linda know all is about it. She's, she's probably either hanging deck Christmas decorations or baking this morning. Uh, well, or I was going to say right at the gym. Right. At the or, gym. Right. Yeah. Beating up a bag or something. It is illegal in Saudi Arabia to name a child Sandy, Elaine, or Linda. Wow. Wow, isn't that just sad? I think if I lived in Saudi Arabia, I wanted I would want my name to be Sandy. <laughs> or Windy or something like that. Or maybe Dusty. In the past five dec decades in the US, the number of food additives has skyrocketed from about eight hundred to more than ten thousand. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. A woman named Glenda Blackwell once bought a scratch-off lottery ticket to prove to her husband that it was a waste of money, and she ended up winning a million dollars. No kidding. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Germans pay cash in 80% of all transactions. In the U.S., it's less than 50%. Yeah, I agree. I yeah. hardly pay cash for anything anymore. I'm surprised 50 is it's that high. Beethoven was a brilliant composer who struggled with sums and spelling his entire life. Hmm. I bet... Spelling his own name was very tricky. <laughs> Lack of sleep may shrink your brain. Wow. Oh. Huh. I keep telling well, my, you Mine should be gigantic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised I can fit it all into my head. <laughs> Cuba has an active maximum wage law where individuals cannot earn more than 20 U.S. dollars per month. Wow. Yeah. Now, uh, what can you say? No wonder why some countries are just... Uh, not with it, yeah. You, you, uh, you know? I don't know. Minimum wage law. Costco <laughs> doesn't make money selling products. It makes all profits from membership fees. I have heard that. Very interesting. That. Mm -hmm. You would have to click a mouse 10 million times to burn a single calorie. Wow. Darn it. I thought I was burning calories every time we did this <laughs> really? show. Turns out I'm... Go back to jogging. Yeah. Bears have favorite trees and will walk for miles just to scratch their backs on them. That's pretty crazy. The piano is only a few decades older than the USA. Hmm. Interesting. Mozart kept a diary of every incident when he heard someone fart. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Beethoven, we have something about the piano. We have wow. Something, yeah, something really good about Mozart. Well, we had Mozart. a lot of time on his hands. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote that well. We're out at a picnic. And that was it. Very was good. Very the, good. Uh, very good. Yeah. That was it for the uh, facts of the day. Oh, wake up. Yeah. Very good fact. All right. Good job, Joel. So, are we ready? Yeah, we got a lot of uh, a lot of answers coming in here. What we got? Hey, Meyer, what's going on? My good jeweler friend. Yay. Remember, right, get your so. get your jewelry gifts for this holiday at Sardo Jewelers. Hey, that might be our first commercial. Yay. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Well done, man. Well done. Okay. So we do have some answers. We have. Um, Hockey, Brooke Shields, Michigan. She's working out. Hockey and... <laughs> that wasn't a trivia question, was it? <laughs> Lincoln, Mercury. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going yeah, on here. The I, name I don't know the... what Brooke Shields is, but... Uh... We'll find out. Okay. The name of the popular online battle royal game is short for what? Answer is... Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Man. Game nobody... Unknown. I don't think anybody no. got that one, right? What are the official winner in summer sports of Canada? Now, I would say hockey. Hockey and well, what would be summer? Summer, uh, uh, baseball. Lacrosse. Lacrosse. Huh? Wow. wow. <laughs> That's oh. strange. What is the largest country located entirely in Europe? I'm going to say France. Okay, yeah, let's go with France. France? Ukraine. Ukraine. We should have known that one. Eastern Europe. Well, that is Europe. Okay. What well, famous Christmas legend did a Montgomery Ward advertising man create as part of his job? Did somebody have that one? Uh, uh, Brooke Shields? <laughs> no. Uh, I want to say Joe. Oh, goodness. I know this one. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Rudolph the uh, Red-Nosed Reindeer. Adam Robert May first wrote of the now famous reindeer in a pamphlet distributed to children by store Santas in 1939. Wow. That is, um, that's very interesting. Yes. Huh. I'll have to look up the history, how that turned into a, a show and all that. Yeah. Ah. Jim Davis was the cartoonist behind which widely syndicated comic strip? Oh, that's familiar too. 
Garfield. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Who yeah. appeared on the cover of the first issue of People magazine on March fourth, nineteen seventy four? Oh, I, maybe. Ah, maybe Brooks. Mia Shield? Farrow. Oh, uh, well, he was close. Yeah, very close. Okay, okay now now we're uh, figuring it out. American Gothic, a 1930 portrait depicting a farmer and his daughter posing in front of their house, was painted by which artist? Uh, they might. Uh, uh, no. Uh, nobody. Okay, here we go. Grant, Grant Wood. Wood. That's not like a real fancy name, is no. it? Grant Wood. Really? You know, I think he, must, he was probably like a cook. <laughs> Most of the time, or <laughs> yes, right. What in the U.S. state has the longest shoreline? I agree. I was. I'm, I was going to say Michigan. I'm going to say yeah, Michigan. Barbara says Michigan. I'm going to say Michigan. Here we go. Michigan. Yeah, very yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, crazy those lakes. How big they yeah. are, and it, they're, yep. they're like practically oceans. Mm -hmm. Who sang the title song "Greece" in 1978 musical motion picture? <laughs> yeah, I can. Uh, Frankie Valley. Frankie Valley. Yay! Good job, man. All right, which U.S. president declared Thanksgiving Day? Uh, a national holiday. I'm gonna say. I'm Eisen. gonna say. Was it Eisenhower? In 1863. Oh no 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 no. I'm going for Abraham Lincoln, but I'm just gonna shoot it out there. Yay! All oh, right. Nice. Woohoo! I actually to... remember all the trivia you did about Thanksgiving. And I actually uh, paid attention to our last show. Yeah, I apparently didn't. <laughs> what heavy metal was once known as Quicksilver? And I uh, think. Uh, uh, I think uh, that's Mercury. Barbara has, uh, yeah, Barbara has. I think. Mercury. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Yep. Mercury. Very good. Yay. Okay. Nice job, yeah, folks. Very good. Very good. Well done. Well, everybody's up and alert this morning. Well done. Always good. Yeah. We don't want them too alert because then he won't watch the show. You know, we got to keep them in that kind of middle, mid range of. Yeah, uh, people will be thinking, like, well, nothing to do. I, I can actually do something else today rather than watch the show. <laughs> we don't want that to happen. So, <laughs> Gary, I hope you're, uh, hope you're well. Good to see you today, Gary. Okay. Uh, okay, is it time for the birthday minute? I think it is. Yes, yeah, let's, 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 let's do not the birthday delay minute, wrap it up, and get out of here. And let's go. Let's, let me get to the birthday minute. Where is it here? I have so many slides here. we got to edit some of these out. Okay, ready? Here we go. And now it's time for the Smack and Jack birthday minute. Birthday minute. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> my, my, I got new props this week. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow. Happy oh, birthday. Everybody sakes. having a birthday yes. this week. Happy birthday. Okay. All right. So, as you get yours going, yep, I'm going to do our, our uh, some, some celebrities. Uh, Bette Midler. Remember Bette Midler's Wings Beneath My... Uh, yeah. Whatever. Uh, born this day in 1945. Richard Pryor, he was a groundbreaking comedian. No longer with us. Born this day in 1940. Woody Allen, Mia Farrow, Woody Allen, that's kind of a tie-in. He ah, was born yeah. this day, 1935, director. Best movie he ever did was Take the Money and Run. Hilarious. Okay. Uh, Lou Rawls, smooth sounding Lou oh, yeah. Rawls. Remember Lou? Yeah. I don't think he's with us anymore. I uh, saw him live. Did I, you? I believe down James Madison when I was in college. He ah. for uh, Parents Weekend. Always, his voice was just, <laughs> yeah. you know, imagine yeah, hanging out good. with Lou. Anyway, born this day in 1933. He's only three yeah. years younger than Dad. Yeah, isn't it? yeah, something. Yep. So he must have been uh, put a lot of time in before he actually hit it big. But that was back in the seventies. Yeah. So. Well, you know, most most uh, people do. Yes. So, anyway, all okay. right. Where we got? Yeah, closer a little to closer home. to home. We have starting. Let's, um, let's go to the week view here. It's a little easier for me to see that. So today is the first of December. And let's put in uh, Jeff Jeff's birthday first. I All just right. saw that earlier, but uh, it's not on here, so we'll add Jeff in there. Okay. And happy birthday, Jeff. And starting today, we have Brian, John, and Lionel. Happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday, everybody. Yeah, wherever you are, happy birthday today. Big day. All right. Tomorrow, Sunday the 2nd, is Ken's. Happy birthday, Ken. Monday the 3rd, which actually happens to be the first day of Hanukkah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, we have Brian, Cameron, Carol, and Laura. Happy birthday, folks, on Ooh, Monday. And, and happy Hanukkah. And happy Hanukkah. Tuesday the 4th, we have Jim. Happy birthday, yeah, Jim. Happy birthday. Yeah, Wednesday the 5th, we have Bill, Lance, and Marty. Ooh. Happy birthday, guys, on Wednesday. All right. And on Thursday the 6th, we say happy birthday to Cindy. Gail and Liz. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, everybody. folks. Hope you have a great day. Now, that is it. 
we have nobody on Friday. We have nobody next Saturday. Wow. Yeah, that's it for our friends' uh, hmm. birthdays this week. So right. birthday t- takes a holiday. Yeah. All so right. happy, well, birthday, happy birthday, everybody. Oh, you have a fantastic week, and we're going to get out of the birthday minute. And that was the Smack and Jack's birthday minute. Birthday minute. Birthday minute. No, oh, wake up. Hey, that just reminds me, uh, since we were, we don't have a couple of days of birthdays next week. <laughs> if you know a loved one that has a birthday coming up, let us know, and we will say happy birthday on the show. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, we'll just send us out. a note, send yes. either Keith uh, a, a message, send yes, yes, us, yep. put it in the comments here. Yes. We'll be happy to mention birthdays. Yeah, we can, uh, that's just something we can expand yeah. our audience and expand our birthday wishes. So. Maybe we should explain how we do the birthday minute. Uh, okay. Birthday minute. Explain to me and then we'll, we'll kind of all know. <laughs> well, you see, the birthday minute comes off of my friend list. That's what That's I figure, yes. Frankly. Yes. Um, so um, all you have to do is friend me. I don't know if we can, we can't friend the actual Smack and Jack uh, page. Right, you like but that. Yeah, but you have, to, you right. have to friend me. Okay. Um, and then your name will go automatically to my calendar. Okay. Or your friends' names will go automatically yeah. if they friend me or something like that. I'd be happy to do that. And, yeah. Uh, we do give you a shout Good out. Idea. Or, yes, otherwise, yeah. you know, just let us know. Yes. Just let us know what birthdays are coming up. All righty. And I think we need to get out of here. Yes, I think that's about it. Had a great show. I don't think we had any hiccup. <laughs> oh. There Almost. it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, Lord. So, uh, are we going to be back next week? Yes, our attempt is to be back next week. We'll okay. Go, um, Getting into a little bit more Christmas, uh, this the seasonal stuff yeah. next week. Maybe do a couple of things. Uh, and anyway, remember, thanks for stopping by, guys. Uh, remember, you deserve a thought of your own. So, be in touch. We'll, we'll see you next week, We'll see guys. you next time. Bye-bye.